Well, Coach, it might take a couple games longer than you had originally anticipated, but at long last, you and privateers are all by themselves alone top the Southland Conference standings, Southland champions. It's an amazing, uh, it's been an amazing journey. Um, it's been a long, tough, growing rebuild. It's been a really, really uh, amazing journey though for our staff, all of our student athletes, all the guys that came before us and from our first year up until today, those first year guys laid an incredible foundation. And you know, I keep going through all of them in my head and I'm so humbled and blessed to have all those guys play for us and, and lay an incredible foundation of our culture and what was accepted in our culture and how hard you had to work. But today's a great day. University of New Orleans is a champion in basketball, but our university is a champion, our faculty, staff, and students are champions, our alumni is champions, and our incredible city is a champion again. And we're proud to have brought that home uh, to where we feel it belongs. And I just couldn't be more humbled to represent uh, all those entities. Talking about today's game, I know it's a, you're kind of talking about the accumulation of the whole season, but today's game had to be a special one for you, a place that has not been traditionally easy to win for the privateers. Yeah. And uh, just uh, playing on an opponent's court in senior night, it's a big deal. <laughs> it's, a, it's, a tough, it's a tough place to play, always has been. I can't tell you how many times I've played here over my years since 2000 in this league, and it's always a hard place to play. They got seven seniors. Coach Riley's done a phenomenal job of, of getting these guys to where they're at. They're as dangerous a three-point shooting team as there is in our league. Uh, but our guys answered the bell. My staff did an amazing job with the scout preparation and short turnaround, recovering off a heartbreaking game against Southeastern to get us back and ready and defend at a really high level. Uh, it was a great night, and you know I always I always say uh, God's got a funny sense of humor. And it, Thursday night didn't go exactly like we want. But it was in his mind, it was in his time. And uh, we're very blessed and humbled uh, by everything that's happened to us. And we're excited to represent our, our conference as a champion. We're excited to represent our conference and our university, our city, either in the NIT or the NCAA tournament, whichever we're, we're blessed to receive a, a bid to. And uh, it's a pretty awesome day for all those involved with UNO basketball uh, because we're back, uh, to a certain extent, we're back to where uh, we're supposed to be and where this program has always been uh, and, and where it should be. Talk a little back to the game. You look to my Nichols' ability to score in bunches. You're ahead comfortably for a while there. Next thing you know, bang, 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 a few threes go in. Yeah. It's a two-point game. No, we knew that, that they're capable of that. They're capable of in a three possession turning into a ten-point lead to one or two. And that's exactly what happened. But our guys kept their composure. Uh, they came through and made a couple adjustments out of a timeout. We were able to grow the lead back a little bit and get back and force them into some misses and then execute and make some clutch free throws down the stretch. Um, everybody contributed great. Our, our, our bench was phenomenal tonight, the scout, for, and getting our team ready for the scout. Uh, it was just a good night all across the board, and uh, I, just, I just can't believe uh, after all this time we're, we're there and we're the champion. It's, it's a great day. Now you had your, your parents were on hands, yeah. four seniors. Talk about the impact that those guys had, especially guys like Tevin Broyles and Chris Davis goes hitting huge free throws yeah, there at the end. They, they were great. Nate got a start back here at home uh, in front of all his family and friends, but Tay and, and Nate were great. And then, you know, Eric was clutched down the, down the end, and he's got to be the player of the year. I don't know how anybody uh, has been more valuable to a team and a program than Eric's been and consistent. He's just been consistent every night and produced within the framework of what we're doing in our team and had a special year and one that doesn't come along very often. And so uh, very blessed to coach those guys. My mom and dad were here, which makes us even greater uh, of an experience for me personally. And then to be able to share in this, it's something I'll never forget. I know it's still a week, a week away just about now, but I think I'm looking forward to it. You wipe the slate clean here in about 24 yeah. hours. Everybody's zero and zero. Yeah, it's a new season. And uh, we'll get in tomorrow and start working and preparing. Uh, we've got it. We've got a, I already got our plan, detailed plans laid out of, uh, of how we're going to approach the week. Um, I'm excited for the opportunity, and I'm excited to see where our guys uh, take us in these next few weeks. It's been, a, it's been. This is a great book and a great story. It's had some interesting twists and turns in it, and uh, I, I don't think we're done. I think we got a couple more chapters left in us, and I'm really anxious to see where it takes us. All right, coach. Congratulations. Thank you a lot.